Jennifer says, I tried to join a meeting via link yesterday and kept getting a message saying, no meeting found with that ID. I tried to manually input the ID and got the same. Even when they tried to start a new meeting, I again got the messages. Thoughts? How to troubleshoot? I, I, I want to I want to say something about this. So um, yeah. the other day I was having this conversation about error messages. And it's crazy how error messages will tell you what is wrong if you read the error message. In this case, it says, the error message says, there is no meeting found with that ID, which means no meeting exists at that ID. So it could have been deleted. It could have been changed. It's possible it's a live meeting and you have the wrong thing and don't have permissions for it. Whatever it is, there's no meeting there. So continuing to try is probably not going to solve but your problem. That I agree with you, except for the <laughs> second half of her question it says, even when they tried to start a new meeting, I again got the message. So my impression is that the meeting's going for the creator, but Jennifer's not able to join it well, that way. So I see a disconnect there with exactly, you know, with what she says is like, they you know created a new meeting is she still using the old link right or did she use the new link well, so did they copy and paste from the the team's correct text That's at the bottom of the wrong like. meeting into yeah. the new meeting and and by the way that doesn't always work but i've even ran into this issue like christian you and i like techie gurus where they would send them out and then they changed them and all that kind of stuff they were still there on the calendar but they actually no longer existed in the system because they didn't update and yeah, so it, teams yeah. does not do a good job of of uh cleaning itself off the weird calendar there's it mm -hmm. leaves remnants stains mm -hmm. on the calendar yeah now the the well, second piece to this of the past meetings that didn't happen <laughs> Yeah, the, exactly. the second piece to this is assuming, okay, so let's let's say assuming t the meeting's working fine and it just that particular meeting is bad, it is possible that maybe their admin has policies against external meetings or that there's something behind the scenes that blocking them from creating a meeting. Maybe the group, maybe the person they're emailing it to is um, blacklisted within the organization for that domain. So if they're trying to share it with maybe a Yahoo or a Hotmail account and they've blocked Yahoo and Hotmail accounts, then when those people click on that, it's also not going to work. So sometimes it says there's no meeting fail with that ID. It could be that it doesn't exist. It could be that you're not allowed to use that ID. So there's all kinds of like policy and permissions restrictions that could be causing that problem as well. Yeah, it, it it just really depends. I mean, like in some of these, we don't get enough information if these are internal people, if they're external people, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, policies vary, right? Like, you know, there are some people, we have organizations that uh, they love to do meetings and chats, but like people external, they can't do the giffies and they can't do all that kind of stuff, but the people internal can, right? Um, and then how strict you are with those, <laughs> um, yeah. you can be moderately, you're very permissive. Um, so it, it, there's a lot of variations there, but ultimately I feel like maybe she's an internal person and that it was the, the meeting was updated at some point and she didn't get the latest and greatest update for some reason. Yeah. That's my thought. Well, one other thought too, because when, when I've experienced this problem uh, is that those of us in the meeting um, then invited directly from the meeting that person um, versus stop mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. pasting a, an ID in and just click on the link that's sent to you directly. Yeah. So that's an it's another yeah way thing to try because oh. that'll well, that'll show you right away if that doesn't work if you're not able to add that if it rejects the email that mm -hmm. indicates there's a policy there's something if they're external they're, they're blacklisted whatever those things are um, but if, if yeah, it, it, that's when it, one of the easiest things to do. Like right now, I could go and type in an email, invite somebody in, or somebody that was on the calendar invite, click to send them, and then like like yesterday, trying to add Sharon in, and then she rejects my <laughs> invitation to join the meeting just outright. You know, so that could happen as well. I forgot about one piece. If the meeting was forwarded to her, that's what I was thinking. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's, there's a lot of things there with that. I mean, like the syncing, if it didn't come from the original person and there was a change, right? Or if she's external at something forwarded, maybe they don't allow it. Again, policies, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Um, but forwarding can cause a lot of issues with the team's links. So, yep. 
And in meeting settings, you can actually set it so that you are not allowed to forward meetings. And mm -hmm. if that, that if that has been set in the meeting settings for that meeting and somebody forwarded that meeting to them, then they still can't use it. Yeah, so it's supposed to wipe out the option altogether, but I've seen it where they've come, they actually, information comes over, but when you click on it, they're dead links. Yeah. Well, so I go back to the fundamental, uh, the, the root of this question about entering a meeting ID to <laughs> access that. Um, that almost to, indicates like, why would you do that rather than click on the the first like the, what, what do you call that? Like the, the first Join person, you. like the, the original <laughs> invite. Yeah, yeah. Like you were actually invited. You know, the hyperlink that says click yeah. here to join the meeting. Right. Or the button that, that says join. That indicates to me that it shared that that person shouldn't be in that meeting. <laughs> but um, Maybe. yeah, possibly. So I, I would go with the, the, uh, the, the, the native link option to join the meeting. Yeah. So like to me, when if she didn't have the join meeting in the link that tells me it was forwarded hmm. yeah and to christian's point you can invite somebody so once you're inside of a meeting if you go up to the right and click on the little people icon um mm -hmm. you click on that you can type somebody's name or phone number or email in um and it'll just invite them to the meeting right there so a lot of people think that you have to forward the calendar invite but you don't if you have the option to invite you can just go right up to the top right unless they're external and then that's policy driven yep, yep.